second to last day of the fishing comp, we're going to try out the iconic Loxwell where everyone apparently catches the big ones. So we're the only crazy ones here. It's like 20 to six. So it's like really dark, it's raining, it's windy, but hey, we're gonna give it a go. It'll probably take us a good half an hour to get ourselves down there and into the water and by then the sun will be not that far from coming up. So let's see how we go, woohoo! Fishing under a super blue moon. This happened once every 10 years. As I started fishing, it was as though I was looking at the sun. That's how bright the moon was. It was really beautiful. A few other people had come down and started fishing and I noticed that they were using lures. I was using my Penn Spin Fisher surf rod, which is quite heavy. I was using size four circle hooks and a heavy star sinker with salted salmon for bait that I'd made a few days before. There was a dark patch in the water in front of us and we thought it was a school of salmon. So Martin climbed back up that massive staircase to get a better look and he took some footage. Sure enough, there was a school of salmon right in front of us. They were a fair way out. They also moved around a bit. One minute they were there, next minute they were gone. It's like you need somebody up the top with a walkie-talkie going, the school's moved to the left. Loxwell is a remote beach and there's no cafes or shops there. Elliston's only 15 minutes away however, so stock up on food before you go. There's a bitumen road all the way to Loxwell, so you won't be needing a four-wheel drive for this one. So this is the Loxwell top car park where you'll have to leave your caravans, RVs, buses. Can't go any further than this. You'll need to walk to the main car park from here. There's a well-maintained track that goes through the scrub. That green roof there, that's the main car park. So if you don't think you're up for this walk, you probably want to come and visit Loxwell after you've got your caravan in the caravan park, then come down just with your car. Or you could probably unhitch it. There's a toilet that flushes. There isn't a fish cleaning table, but there is a bin and a tap. There's a fantastic lookout where you can check for the schools of salmon before you head down those 283 stairs to the beach. This is what Loxwell's known for, those stairs. This staircase was built in the 80s, so imagine how hard it was to get up and down from the beach before that. I wasn't catching any fish with my surf rod and bait, and yet this is the same setup that I'd used at Boiling Down Beach just a few weeks before and cleaned up. It was really surprising. I was fishing next to Paul from Port Pirie who was using metal lures, and he'd been catching heaps of fish. Nice one, Paul. And then the guy on the other side of me hooked up as well, using a lure. Looks like fun. Have a look at that one. So I thought, okay, it's time to get rid of the bait and to try a lure. So 
So I put a metal lure on my beach rod, which was about seven foot long, but still not very flexible. This is so frustrating because I just can't reach the school. I'm falling short. Because I, I haven't got the right rod. This is only a small one. Yeah. So I've got this one, and then I've got my big, heavy one, which isn't right either, because I still can't cast out with that. I need a tall, thin, whippy one, like these guys have got. Everybody's catching fish. Me. Anyway, they're beautiful fish, so I'm going to have another shot. Persistence. If you're enjoying this video, please like it. Subscribe to see more of our videos. Click the bell and you'll be notified when we release a new one. Kevin from Gawler was catching some salmon as well, but he was using pilchard for bait. So maybe the salmon also aren't keen on my salted salmon bait today. Wow, another nice one. These salmon are all such a good size today. Lock Swell is known as one of the best beaches in the state for catching salmon all year round, but particularly in winter when they're there in bigger numbers. It's one of the beaches that you can catch fish and enter them in the Elliston Australian Salmon Fishing Championship. What I love about Locks Well is that it's such a big beach. There's gutters all the way along it, so you don't have to stand right next to somebody and fish. It's the end of winter and it's a very cold winter's morning. It's about 13 degrees maximum, so when we were fishing it was well less than that. And the wind is south southwesterly at around 20 kilometres an hour, but it's gusting a lot higher than that. So it's not very comfortable fishing conditions. But hey, it is winter and we are dressed for it. This makes a big difference because you don't feel the cold and rain so much. The tide's coming in to being a high tide and it's treacherous. You have to get, you wait for the water to suck back, run in, cast, and then it comes at you so fast it knocks you over. So it's really quite dangerous to fish in these conditions. So Paul, locks well. Is this one of your favourite spots to come fishing? Yes, this is my favourite spot. It's your favourite? I come here in winter on the full moons of each month in, in June, July and August. And like, it was a super blue moon today. Yes, and a blue moon, yes. And did you notice any difference in the, in the tides? Yes, yeah, massive movement in tides. So yeah. This morning we fished a low tide, which yeah. allows you to get to the deep gutters. The tide will come in tonight and she'll head right up on the beach and you won't be able to fish the gutters. So, uh, yeah. It's, it's sunrise and sunset is the best time. Yeah. yeah. That looks like a school out there. Yeah. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna give go, it a go. Go, Paul. Go. Right. Let's see him in action. Look at that. You were right, Paul. You spotted that, didn't you? <laughs> oh, they're 
jump right out the water then. <laughs> I love that. They're the best fish. <laughs> Here it comes. Look at it go. What a beautiful fish. That's a beauty, Paul. Woohoo! That's a beauty. That is beautiful. See, you saw it, you cast in, you caught it. That's how it's done. Beautiful. Ah. Hello, the salmon. You can hold them under the belly. Look at how easily that circle hook comes out of the fish's mouth. This is great for catching nice and releasing fish. I love it. You were just unfortunate. The fish were there, there was a school. <laughs> they were everywhere. They were huge. <laughs> they were everywhere. But your rod's half the size of mine. I've got a 10 foot sea bass, which okay. is uh, set up for casting lures. It's a 35 gram casted weight, so very light lures, but I throw about a 60 gram on. It goes out like a dart. Right. And this morning you probably saw nearly every cast she was on. Every cast. He was like pulling in these beautiful fish. We got, <laughs> got five dug in the sand. That's they're bleeding. You gotta you gotta cut you gotta cut the main blood vein and then invert them and they bleed out because they've they got a lot of blood in Australian salmon, but if you do and, that they're beautiful. And he bleeding. gave us one as well. Because he like felt sorry for us that we haven't got anything here. Coming in. The tide's coming in. Yeah, I'll move it in a minute. It's not your day, honey. <laughs> so uh, this is going to be a bit awkward. So I'm going to go where I'm not too close to anyone because I'll probably take someone out with it. <laughs> So by this time the tide was just too high for me to be able to reach the gutters safely. So I had to pack up. Still, I had a great time fishing Loxwell. And I think Martin had a great time as well watching some of my epic fails. So it really was the perfect day for fishing with lures. There were schools of salmon coming and going over the last few hours. We could see them come in, the dark patch in the water, Everybody would be running, putting their lures straight into the school. Paul from Port Perry, he cleaned up. Yeah, like, I was so jealous, like I'm standing there fishing and I'm watching these people bring in these amazing fish. They're having such a great time. And I looked at you and I... You laughed at me. No, I feel bad. You said there's always got to be one on the beach. So we had salted salmon, which has worked a treat for us so many times. The, the fish didn't want it today. It really pays to have more than one kind of bait. You can't have a great fishing day every day, I suppose. Call no fish, zero. That's why they call it fishing, not catching. <laughs>